The counselor said I'd never be anything, so I went on and was nothing for the next five years. Went to junior college and was tossed out three times for ac on academic probation, because I did nothing. So I'm wasting all these years, and then finally in 1984, I said to my mother, I'm tired of living like this. I'm not doing anything. I gotta do something with my life. I'm going to college. And my mom, she says she paid that tuition because I had no money to pay for a college tuition. So she said, I'm so happy. I'm happy my son is finally going to school. I went on to school and I stumbled on some books the first day of school. And stumbling on these books led to other books and they led to other books and finally there was a book that changed my life. Let me share it with you. The book was entitled, The Miseducation of the Negro. The word Negro in the title because it was written in 1933 by the late scholar, author, publisher, second African-American to receive a PhD from Harvard University, a dean, a, a, he did so many things. He, he was the author of 16 books, Dr. Carter G. Woodson. But this book, The Miseducation of the Negro, it had a paragraph in it. It really, really, really blew my mind. It rocked me. And I read the paragraph, but then I had to read it again, and I had to read it again, and I had to read it again. I kept on reading it, and I said, this man is talking to me back in 1933. Let me share the paragraph with you. He said, when you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. You do not have to tell him not to stand here or over yonder. He will find his quote unquote proper place and he will stay in it. You do not need to send him to the back door. He will go without being told. In fact, if there is no back door, he'll cut one for his special benefit. His education makes it necessary. When I read that, folks, I said, oh, wait a minute. He's saying to me, as long as I'm not a thinker, as long as I don't think deeply and critically, analytically, then I pose no threat, nor challenge to anybody. But he said, on the other hand, young Baruti Kafele, the day you become a thinker, the day you pull out your shovel and dig deep, that's the day you pose a threat. So I began to think. I began to look at the world differently. I began to look at the world through a different set of lenses. And in two years, I graduated from that school, Kane University in New Jersey, summa cum laude. And folks say, how'd you do that? And I said, very simple. My attitude changed. I'm the same guy. But my attitude shifted. And all of a sudden, I believed that I could fly. I believed that I could soar. I believed that I could accomplish anything I set my sights on accomplishing. So then I started a new journey. And that journey took me to why I'm here this evening. It took me to education. 